Hello from Slovenia again. I will do a reverse flower dip today. I have those florists for low recent paints left from my Sunday life. Uh, and uh, you know it's uh, a lot of ways how to do a reverse flower dip. And I think that I didn't do one with puddles and fluorescent paints never. So I said, okay, let's do that today. Uh, and I will start with my pearl white. All my paints are mixed with my pouring medium. If you are a beginner and you want to see how to mix paints, I, I have link to my... Um, video where I show how I mix my paints into the description box so you can check them there. I have a ton of videos so that's why I don't um, you know this is just base coat black uh, oxide black from Amsterdam mixed with my pouring medium just spread I just spread it in um, evenly so you have a lot of videos that you can check that I don't need to do, you know. Um, I hate this where those bubbles, air bubbles come through, so I have to do it like that. Now it will be better probably. So I will do just some puddles of paint and then I will use my napkin to do a reverse dip. So I started with pearl white. I will just torch these bubbles out. And next one is fluorescent green. And I will add two fluorescent paints and then pearl white and two fluorescent paints and pearl white because uh, pearl white is the one that it will create lacing hopefully and some nice effects but if I add pearl white between every color those fluorescent paints become a little um, I have something in my squeeze bottle here just a second have to get this out because I will have problems other way okay I'm good now a blob a little blob of paint was there so should be good now what is wrong with you okay so this is um fluorescent yellow and this will be a bright piece because of those fluorescent paints I hope so I'm just doing some puddles and pearl white again and I'm not going just on top you see I go like um, that paint starts to float towards the middle a little bit that's how you create um, those flower petals or oh, this one is probably thicker than other ones hopefully it will be okay anyway uh, so that's why I don't use those squeeze bottles so much anymore because you can check your consistency before you start and I like to check my consistency and this is fluorescent magenta definitely the orange one is thicker so hopefully it will be okay anyway uh, and I will speed you up after the first uh, uh, row of paints that you will uh, the video will not be too long so uh, 
obviously you just do some puddles of paint but if you want to have some lacing you have to use this uh, Vallejo pearl medium mixed with titanium white and pouring medium or some extreme sheen paints because otherwise you don't get lacing you get just you know solid colors so it's don't get me wrong it's uh, not that it's something wrong with that but if you are going for that kind of look that you will see at the end and there was something so you see this is why I don't like squeeze bottles um, you have to use some of those colors that create those effects so I will speed you up now and see you in a bit Okay, our flower is done and now I will just drag this skewer through the petals just to create a little more interest maybe to those flower petals kind of. Uh, so this is really easy technique you know for creating a nice looking flower without sorry without that you have to know how to draw a flower you know uh, you can even play with this kind of um, patterns and just spin it and it will look like kind of mandala flower or something so endless possibilities to play with paint okay I'm happy with that and now I will spray my paper napkin with water just to soften it up just dump it a little bit because uh, I like that it's more flexible when I lift it up but you don't need to you can use dry paper napkin paper towel you can even use um, a saran wrap or plastic whatever works for you best I love my dump paper towels because I think that I have more control and uh, with paper napkins I said towel with paper napkins I start to use towels at the beginning but uh, your towel or napkin or plastic should be bigger than your canvas because uh, that's um, it's easier for you you know to lift lift it care um, nicely or how can I say so that's why I switch to the paper napkins because they are bigger than our towels but you can use different things for for that 
so here we are and now to the lifting part when you lift your corners just don't leave them too high try to keep them in the middle and not too high that helps you you know uh, keep the the nice shape of your flower underneath okay and now the next four corners four sides these are sides probably Just gather them here in the middle and lift. Okay, weird, not a lot of lacing. I was afraid that my Coral white will take over and now I would even love to have more lacing. Just a little touch here in the middle. Hmm. <laughs> I lost a lot of colors here, so weird. So I will give it a, a, a little spin, just a little spin, just to see if I will get some more effects maybe. when you stretch your paints you know your um, pattern on the canvas stretch too so but still not a lot I was really hoping for a little more of the effects close-up not sure really if I like this flower uh, maybe even the green uh, fluorescent paint shouldn't be on the outside and I have a little too much blue for my taste uh, and maybe I would even it would even work better to add my pearl white between every color but I just want to show you this um, simple way for creating a nice flower just with puddles and I think that it's a, a good technique that uh, even if you are a beginner you can try it and you will get some nice looking flower out of it uh, so but I was really hoping for more the effects and maybe not as much blue so this is it for today and see you on the next one bye